we thought we'd take a minute and illustrate a few sections of the curriculum. One of our favorite activities is the power of compound interest. As you can see, we have a jar that we have labeled principal and another jar that we have labeled interest. Here at Capitol High, I was able to find an amazing bank that actually will give me 50% interest on my money, on my principal. So let's see how this works. So I decided that I was going to just leave my dollar bill in this savings account for a period of seven days. And each day I'm gonna get 50% simple interest. So the first day I go back to the bank and I realize that now I have 50% of a dollar is 50 cents. So 50 cents the first day. Second day I go back to the bank and another 50 cents. Then the third day I go back again and guess how much I get now? You're getting 50% simple interest because your principal is still one dollar. So the fourth day I go back and guess what I got? Another 50 cents. Thank you. And the fifth day? 50 cents. And the sixth day? 50 cents. And finally I go back in the seventh day and I get yet another? 50 cents, simple interest. So now it's been seven days and I still have only a dollar in my principal jar. Notice I haven't touched my principal jar. Let's see how much interest I've accrued in seven days. That would be one dollar, two dollars, wow, three dollars, and fifty cents interest, simple interest, on my one dollar bill. Did I do anything special with this dollar bill? No. Did I have to work for this extra money? No. Pretty cool, right? Very. But I have something even cooler to show you. Now what's really cool is compound interest. With compound interest, you not only get your interest on your principal, but now you're also getting interest on your interest. Let's see how this works. So I'm still going to this bank at Capital High. And she's receiving 50% interest a day. 50% interest a day, and I decided to invest my money in a savings account for seven days, just like before. And guess how much? A whole dollar bill. So I'm investing a dollar bill for seven days at 50% interest. So the first day goes by and guess how much I get? 50% of a dollar is, this banker? 50 cents, but this time it's compound interest. Which means basically they combine. So now I have how much in my principal jar? $1.50. I no longer have a dollar, I have a dollar fifty because I've combined my interest with my principal. So now I get compound interest, which is 50% on a dollar fifty, which will be 75 cents. 75 cents. So now I combine it again, and the third day goes by, and now I have how much in my jar? 225 in your principal jar. 225. And that means I get how much interest now? A dollar thirteen compound interest. A dollar thirteen. So now I combine my dollar thirteen, which will give me three thirty-eight. And now I'm getting how much? A dollar sixty-nine. Dollar sixty-nine, which again I combine into my principal, and now I have five dollars and seven cents in my principal, which gives me how much? Two dollars and fifty-four cents compound interest. So $2.54 in my interest, which I combine, and gives me $7.61. I'm really good at math. And that gives me how much interest, Miss Banker? Today, you are getting $3.81. Wow. $11.42 principal that I'm now getting 50% interest on, which gives me how much? $5.71. Compound interest. And that together, now I have $17.13 in my principal jar. Which, Miss Banker, can you tell me how much compound interest I made on my dollar? You made $16.13 compound interest. 
Now, were we doing anything different than before? No. Then why did I only make $3.50 when I was earning simple interest and $17, or shall I say $16.13 profit when my interest was compounded? Because in compound interest, your interest becomes part of the principal. Whereas in simple interest, your interest does not combine with the principal. And you only get interest on your principal.